This week during the Red Letter Challenge, we talked about forgiveness. At the beginning of day 17, it says, Matthew 6, 12, forgive others their trespasses. When we say the Lord's Prayer, we say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. So we are asking God to forgive what we have done and we forgive what others have done to us. How can I forgive them? They hurt me. They don't care what they did. What they did was so bad, I could never forget it. So how can I forgive it? I would say things like this. These are questions I used to ask myself a lot. But the answer to my questions became clearer this week during the Red Letter Challenge. You see, I've been working on forgiveness the last few months but I still had so many unanswered questions and I still struggled. I wanna tell you about my aunt Becky. Becky passed away almost five years ago from cancer. When Becky got sick, I was also going through some struggles in life. She would always tell me, Stacy, give it to God. One of the last messages I received from her was Stacy, God will take care of it give it to God. At the time, I thought that it meant if I was worried or scared, I would pray. I would give my fears to God. But the Red Letter Challenge has made me realize giving it to God means so much more. The Red Letter Challenge tells us to forgive means to let go of something and give it to God because you believe he will enact better justice than you could. You see, when we forgive someone, we're not ignoring what they did. We don't have to forget, but we don't have to carry that weight around. Unforgiveness is a heavy weight to carry. It weighs us down. When Jesus took back the cross and gave his life upon it, he carried the weight of all our sins. We don't need to be out there seeking revenge when someone hurts us. We need to forgive. Revenge is paying twice for a hurt that someone did to you. You pay the price when they hurt you. You pay double when you carry that pain inside you. We don't need to pay that price. Jesus paid the price by dying on the cross. This week taught me that forgiving those who have hurt me doesn't let the person off the hook. It doesn't say what they did was okay. It places them in God's hands. I am giving it to God and releasing that person to him. Give it to God. He can handle it and he will sort it out. Then I